Good evening. We're back. My name is Nikki, and I'm sitting in for Mr. Paul Herring. We're still doing the show called Meet the Candidates, and tonight I have the pleasure of bringing to you Miss Jackie Poplar, and she will be giving you a brief statement. Jackie? Hey. How are you? Thank you so much. You're um, welcome. It's such a blessing always uh, to be with Paul and his staff. Mm -hmm. And you do a marvelous job for Channel 17. Thank you. And uh, I enjoy that very much. Um, to my constituents and the citizens of the city of Flint, I have prepared a statement to let uh, my constituents and the citizens of the city of Flint know what I'm about, what I have done, and what I will continue to do as the second ward council person for the city of Flint, Michigan. A very, very proud title that I hold because I hold the city of Flint very dear to my heart. And the second ward, I even hold that dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. So I've prepared and hopefully um, those that don't know me will know me and those that do know me will learn a little bit more about me and what I do not only in my ward, but also in the city of Flint. All right. I am proud to announce that I have declared my 2013 candidacy for re-election to the second ward city council seat for the city of Flint. I have worked effectively in the second ward as councilwoman for the past eight years, during which time I have fought diligently in working with others, in executing a plan, in resolving the deficiencies that impeded the best interests of the people relative to the overwhelming financial crisis, crime, unemployment, economic challenges, blight, and negative image facing the city of Flint. Without wavering, and as I say, without wavering, I have stood the course and fought the battle. I have continuously given undeniable contribution and leadership in my role and responsibility as a second ward city councilman and as an elected official. I have undoubtedly demonstrated my hard work, commitment, honesty, fairness, and thoughtfulness to my constituents and the citizens of Flint. I have earned the reputation as a doer who is highly skilled in working with community-based organizations, clergy, organization groups, political leaders, not only from the city of Flint, mm -hmm. but outside the city of Flint, labor unions, and the great citizens of Flint and others. The many serious problems facing Flint today, we need experienced, proven leaders leading the way. As an elected official, I differentiate myself from my opponents through experience, integrity, effective leadership, teamwork, and my demonstration of ability of putting the people's agenda and their best interests first. It's not about Jackie Poplar. It's about the citizens that she served. I am a servant to the people. That is my challenge that God has given me and I have taken it to the max and I know that I can maximize it by retaining the seat that I sit in. Because once again, it's not about Jackie Pop. Right. It's about me lifting the community, lifting people one by one. And this is what I ask God every day mm -hmm. when I wake up, to be able to lift someone, to tell someone a better way to make their life, their family's lives, our city, a better place to be. I believe in staying. I believe in sticking. I live in the house that I say I live in. I have lived in that community for 40 years. I have lived in my home. I have paid my taxes. I have helped clean up the community 
and I will continue doing this. If I do not sit in the seat, not one more day, I'm not stopping to be Jackie Poplar because that's who I am. Mm -hmm. I am a servant. Beyond a doubt, I feel I am the most qualified person to serve as a second ward city council person. Therefore, I humbly, and as I say humbly, request that the constituents of the second ward stick and stay by Jackie Poplar as their council person. Because I have stayed with them, I have stuck with them, and I have done the best I can for them, and I will continue doing so. Now to add before I close. Okay. I don't brag, but when I took this seat in 2005, I promised my constituents that I would return every phone call that I received. Mm -hmm. I can stand on that word. Mm -hmm. I have returned every phone call not only from the second ward, but I've received phone calls from other wards. And I've told those council people, I received their phone call. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I didn't call you back. Some people give me all this information and they don't give me a number. I have even went to the estate that I would look their number up in the phone book or call information by their address to get their phone number. Send them a letter and let them know you didn't leave that phone number. Right. But that is one promise. Because I believe in giving people an answer that they seek for. And if I don't have the answer, I have stood on my word that I would get the answer from someone, give you the number of someone mm -hmm. that can help you with your answer. And I've enjoyed doing what I do because it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about me helping make this city a better place. And yes, I'm upset about the grass. <laughs> we are. I'm upset about the blight. But one thing I can say if I had a bulldozer, if I had a lawn crew, it would all be gone. But we're under state takeover, and I'm doing the best I can to make sure that the second ward stays in the forefront of whatever the city manager and the people at his table have planned for this city. So as the second ward council person, I can only feel and believe that I'm the best person for this job. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Thank you for that thank statement, you. and I thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you. My you're, pleasure. You're welcome. We'll be back in a moment.